Justin Tucker set to boom this one away. And off we go from M&T Bank Stadium. From the 10. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. They're coming out with a jumbo package to start the drive. They'll start on the ground, ETM. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go as a loss of three right away, and it's second down. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one behind the line of scrimmage. That one good for 26 and a first down. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time you wait for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. And he finds a little bit of room, enough for four yards. It'll be second down. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Out of the gun, it's Lawrence. He'll get this out to the flat for ETN. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens 39. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Straight ahead, ETN to the 36-yard line. Stop there. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out. And they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. Throwing, completing, quick to Calvin Ridley. And he'll be brought down at the 27. That was a lightning fast decision that time. He just caught it and got rid of it. Because he saw his guy was going to be open immediately. So he took the R, the run, out of the play. He took the O, the option, out of the play. And immediately got to the pass. They run on first down, but it only produces a gain of two. It's second down now. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. It's a four-yard pickup there, and it leaves him with third and five. But that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive. And once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. Play number nine now on this pretty long opening drive. But this is third down. From the gun, it's Lawrence. Caught on the right side by Jones. Touchdown, Jaguars! Zay Jones, a 22-yard touchdown grab. And the Jaguars are on the board first on the road here in Baltimore. Extra point by Patterson, up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. From his end zone, here comes Justice Hill. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 right at the 30. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And his throw here is incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Now it's Jackson. That's complete. It's Devin Duvernay. He's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. On 
third down, Jackson. That's caught. It's Demarcus Robinson. And he will have a Ravens first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. On first and ten, it's Jackson. Oh, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. And the Jags are going to take over a couple of yards shy of midfield. But when I looked out, he was kind of shaking his head right after he threw that pass. Uh, what did you see? Well, from a defense's perspective, anytime you have your eyes back towards the quarterback, you're in a position to make a play on the ball, whether it's a big-time play by you or an overthrow by the quarterback. You have a much better opportunity. After 1-7-0 on EA Sports. Playing the drive, lost four. Now they'll look to move it forward here on second and 14. Now Lawrence. He'll drop this one off with ETN. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. They'll bring a receiver in motion right. Here's Lawrence. This one caught by Ridley. And oh, he's just going to be short here. Barely. Maybe by a half a foot. It'll be fourth and inches. And they'll try and throw for it with Lawrence. And he's going to have his running back. It's complete. Touchdown, Jaguars. Big fourth down conversion for the score and the defense. That is a tough pill to swallow. Big time for them. How about them just deciding to go for it on fourth down? And, oh, okay, forget the field goal, because that looked like an easy three points. Yeah, you might have had a defensive breakdown in there, but they pressed the issue and found a way to get it into the end zone. Give them big credit for that. Hill is going to take it out of the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And Charles, it's kind of gut check time. Look, I know it's early first quarter, just their second drive of the game, but they've already thrown the interception, given up the score. You're down double digits. they got to figure out something and pretty quickly here. No doubt about it. And when we look at that sideline, I'm sure you're observing the same thing I am. I don't like the body language at all. They look like they're in a state of stunned disbelief. So to me, we always talk about someone stepping up and making a big play. I think it would behoove them if multiple guys step up and make big plays right now. They need something positive to happen, and they need for it to happen now. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. He'll get three yards on the scramble there and second down. I did like his decision-making there to make sure they picked up something instead of forcing the throw. Now they've got more manageable play coming up to try and pick up the first down and don't rule out the possibility that he just keeps it and runs again. To throw again on second down. Jackson throwing over the middle and it's incomplete. Well, he certainly thought he had a window to push that ball downfield, but as soon as he released the throw, the corner was there to slam that window shut. From the gun on third down, Jackson. And that's going to be caught. It's James Prochet. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Jaguars' 33. To throw is Jackson. Flushed out right. They set up the screen for Dobbins. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. The first down screen pass, good for five. He was out there waving his arms. When I mean, you got a quarterback out of the pocket looking for any help, I guess waving the arms is helpful. It certainly is because you got to get his attention because now you're in scramble drill. So everyone's adjusting their routes, finding open space, and he found the right spot for the completion. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Jackson on the give to Dobbins. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. 
Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Throwing is Jackson. And he's just going to throw this one out of bounds here. Nowhere to go with it, incomplete. I'm really liking what I'm seeing from this defense because their coverage has been playing at a shutdown level so far. Even backed up late, they're forcing incompletions and fighting to keep them out of the end zone as the first half. Touchdown! Demarcus Robinson from three yards out. And the Ravens have cut it back within a score. Tucker with the extra point, and that'll make our score 14 to 7. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. From the 10. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. And not an abundance of time remains on the clock, Charles, but you would think more than enough to try to extend this lead. And now this is intercepted. My goodness. It's Chuck Clark picking it off. And he will bring this back. It's a pick six and a Raven touchdown. Now Tucker to add the PAT. And we've got a good one, Berlin. We're all nine up at 14. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. From the 10. And he takes this near the 25. Just a little pass there. Call it the 26. Lawrence will try again after the pick six. A solid stiff arm. Room here to run. And now look at this. Big gain, but a fumble. But this will get out of bounds, so possession will stay the same. So now then, the big play has them all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Running out of the gun with ETM. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. Here's Lawrence to throw. And he's just going to get rid of this thing. To no one here, he throws it away. And now it's third. Just his second incompletion so far. He's 8 for 10. I think he'll take 80%. There's no doubt that he will. But if you're the defensive play caller, you better circle what you just dialed up on your play sheet and come back to it because he just caused an incompletion. He Touchdown, Jaguars! Zay Jones, two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Jaguars will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. Extra point by Patterson, up and good. And the lead is now 21-14. After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. Hill is going to take it out of the end zone. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Throwing now, Jackson on first down. And he wide. 
nicely will throw that one away. No grounding call there. He had a receiver near the right sideline. It was pretty clear there. He just needed to get rid of that one. And he did have a receiver in the area, but initially my view was obstructed, and I thought that was going to be grounding, but clearly the correct call made, and that is no call. Is that why you threw your play sheet down? Is that why you did Dude, it? Was that the flag? You can't be giving me up. I got a lot of issues up here in the booth. To throw on second and ten. Jackson on the run. He'll let this go deep right side. And he fires one that's intercepted. Shaquille Griffin with a pick. Well, Charles, they're so close to halftime there. You throw the interception. Not only that, you do give it to them in plus territory as well. Yeah, they were pushing real hard to try and get something more on the board on their side of the ledger right before the half. Looking at it with 20-20 hindsight, yeah. though, might have been better to hand it off a few times, hoping to get something to break instead of putting the ball in the air and, of course, putting the ball in jeopardy. Eluding the pressure right. Aaron it out, looking for Ridley. In a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Marcus Williams, and he will be brought down on what will be the final play of this first half. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL, and it's a presentation of EA Sports. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth, ready for quarter number three. The Ravens set to receive the football trailing here as we resume action in the third quarter. Hill is going to take it out of the end zone. And he'll be out of bounds across the 25. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. But, Charles, we saw pretty entertaining first half, close ball game. Remember there toward the end of the second quarter, the opposition scored to take the lead. Now we'll see if these guys can get a score of their own to regain that lead. Yeah, they want to have that type of a response, don't they? Because they want to find a way to take control of this ball game one more time. Golf has been thrown down. They want to see if they're ready to answer it. A give up the middle to Dobbins. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. Now Dobbins again on second down. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk at a 45. 43 yards rushing for him now. He's only carried the ball four times. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. On the counter now, it's Dobbins. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Another run here with Dobbins. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Now it's Jackson. And that is incomplete. Trying to get that one to his tight end, and they've been trying to get the ball to him, but as of yet, unable to successfully complete one. But you know there's usually a nice comfort zone in throwing to the tight end. Great sight lines, usually right in the middle of the field. Fourth down, here's Jackson. Escaping the pressure right. Oh, and for the third time, Jackson going to be intercepted. Shaquille Griffin with a pick. And the Jaguars force the turnover. They'll take over at their own 27. Tough one there. First drive of the third quarter, throw an interception, and now a chance that they could be an even a bigger hole if they can convert this into points. Yeah, but how good do you feel if you're that defensive coordinator right now? Because you just know that the head coach looked at him and said, turn him loose, big man. And he'd be able to take a few extra chances playing with this type of a lead. And boy, it paid off. On second and nine, Lawrence. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. And after an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. 
Well, that's the third interception for Lawrence. Kyle Hamilton picks it. And the Ravens are going to take possession of the football. So the deep ball giveth, and now the deep ball taketh away. And you get deep on me here. I like that. Going to the next level and what you're thinking. And when you think about all the success he's had throwing the football so far, sometimes when you're doing that, you think you're invincible out there. But he was given a cold dose of reality on that throw. So it goes as a completed pass, but they lose a full five yards. Well, his completion percentage continues to rise with that one, but sometimes you want your completion percentage to go down. Maybe you should have thought about throwing that one away. I was just going to say, it is easier said than done, but that's where you may be buried at his feet. Make sure he doesn't catch it. Great job. Great call right there. Put it near the receiver. No grounding, nothing like that, but no one gets a chance to pick it off either. Down inside the 10. That one nearly 30 yards, 29 officially. They'll run with Dobbins. And he is into the end zone for a Baltimore touchdown. J.K. Dobbins, a five-yard touchdown run. And the Ravens take the forced turnover on defense and convert it into six points. Tucker able to connect on the extra point. And we are tied at 21. A couple of teams locked into a good one here. 21 all to score as the kick's away. From the 10. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. We got a brand new ball game all even after that last touchdown. So every drive now becoming a little more critical here in the second half. They're throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. Oh, that's good decision making right there. Understood down and distance. Knew it wasn't third down, and he still had another opportunity to earn the first down. Good job throwing it away and avoiding an interception. Great third quarter, all tied up. This is second and ten. Lawrence will throw. This is caught. It's Kirk. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. Now Lawrence on first down. He completes it to Jones. And they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. Throwing again on second down, Lawrence. He'll get this out to the flat for ETN. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. On the counter, ETN. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage. And touchdown, Jaguars! Christian Kirk, 33 yards. And the Jaguars answer back with a touchdown of their own to break our tie and take the lead here in the fourth. Extra point by Patterson, up and good. And they will take a seven-point lead. After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. Hill is going to take it out of the end zone. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. 
The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. And now after the touchdown a moment ago, they work from behind in a seven-point game in this fourth quarter. Plenty of time on the clock. They'll start on the ground with Dobbins. They'll get him to the ground at the 20 following a pickup of four. He was hoping to get to the edge, but they did a really nice job of forcing him back inside. That's excellent fundamental defensive football. Don't let them outside where they can really shred your defense. They'll bring a receiver in motion left. On second down, it's Edwards. And some room to roam now. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. They run once more with Edwards. Now the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. Jackson going to give this one to Edwards. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. Two yards, good enough for first. Running left is Edwards. And he'll fight forward on the straight ahead running for just a couple of yards, second down. This drive is pretty clear. Almost feels like old school fundamentals, doesn't it? Want to impose their will on the defense. Was that five straight runs? Yeah, five straight carries to start this drive. And like you said, the way it's working, they may just stick with it. On second down, it's Drake. Trying to get out wide, but he's going to be tackled right near the line of scrimmage. We've got a one score game with inside of two minutes remaining. Throwing Jackson out to his left. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Here we go. It's Jackson on fourth down. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And this defense will take over.